Hi everyone! I made a slow cooker carnitas and a simple avocado rose, so hit that subscribe button and watch me cook! Let me start off by apologizing for my technical difficulties, but I didn't want you guys to miss out, so here we go! The first thing you're gonna do is grab your pork and cut them into large chunks. Then add all of your seasonings right on top of the pork and your lime juice last. We're gonna mix all of that together and then you're gonna add two cups of vegetable oil. Do not be afraid of the vegetable oil, it's gonna work out really well. Cook these on low for six hours. And six hours later, this is what you'll see. You know your pork is ready when you can shred it easily with the fork. And carnitas is just not carnitas until you get that nice little crunchy texture. So this is where all the magic happens. Since your pork is coming out of a crock pot full of vegetable oil, go ahead and place these without anything extra into a large skillet on high heat and let them fry for about 8 to 10 minutes. You don't want to stir this around too frequently. Just let it sit for about 2 to 3 minutes before moving it around. I know the video shows differently because I have it on a higher speed setting, but you want it to brown so that you get the crispy texture. This is just an easy, simple, and fast way to make carnitas at home without going to a crowded restaurant. Will it taste different from your favorite places? Yes, but it's still good. Now since this video is so short because of my technical difficulties, again my apologies, you know I'm going to have to add a little something extra, so grab an avocado, cut it in half, remove the pit. You know you've picked a good avocado when you can easily peel off the skin of the avocado. Now all you're going to do is thinly slice your avocado all the way down to the end. You want it as thin as possible because otherwise it's not going to be malleable. Again, I know my video is fast, but take your time cutting these into like paper thin slices. Now we're going to splay this out as far as you can, expanding it without having it break apart. And then we're going to roll it. Roll it from the outside in to get the center part of your row started. And then when you can't really get it to go anymore, bring the other side, the opposite side, and bring it in as well. Then we're going to fan it out a little bit just so you can get a pretty little row shape. See how pretty that is? Now carefully slide your knife underneath the rose so that you can move it to a plate. I plated my carnitas with some rice and beans, but enjoy these any way you like them. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.